the in-depth review of a Zombie 2. Now this is a uh, video nasty, and it's probably my favorite video nasty. This is the uh, 25th anniversary special edition released by Shriek Show, and the uh, the DVD has two discs in it, and it comes with a poster of the movie, and the uh, the poster is signed right here. I don't know if that's a real signature by Lucio Fulcher or not. It, it's obviously written on here in, in person because it, because you can tell it's just not part of the poster. I'm not I'm not sure. It, it can't be the real director's signature, so I'm I'm not sure exactly what it is. But it's it's a signed poster, so I guess it doesn't matter. But um, all in all, this is one of the um, the best zombies movies ever made in my opinion um, and uh, it's one of the more gorier zombie movies ever made and there are gorier movies but this one you know for blood and what, what not is uh, really good now the uh, the mini movie in this um, the movie starts off with this a stray ship coming into the New, New York har Harbor and the um, cops board the ship and they, uh, they find this zombie on board and they shoot the zombie and the zombie falls in the water. And then um, they bring the boat in and they keep it and you know you see the doctor doing some work on a, a dead body that was from the ship and you see the hand moving on the body and then um, a reporter is going to cover the story and um, pretty much everything's wrapped up. You know, you see the boat um, you know, parked on the in the harbor, and a policeman was you know is watching it, and things seem pretty much wrapped up over this boating incident. The uh, the, uh, the the news reporter he uh, he boards the ship secretly and finds a woman um, down below, and um, they uh, they leave the ship together that night. They avoid a confrontation with the police, and. Um, you find out that the um, the girl that was on the ship was on looking for something on the ship because um, that's her father's ship and he's been missing and they uh, they find this letter and the letter talks about this island called Matul and it talks about the father being ill and so forth and so being a reporter and being the you know he of course wants to find out you know what's going on with this astray ship and the daughter, of course, wants to find out what happened to her father. So, um, really, the inciting the uh, the inciting incident of the movie is finding that letter, which leads to them, you know, leads them to this island of Matul. And their big choice is the um, the reporter calls the uh, his newsroom, and they say, okay, well, you know, we'll give you the money so you can go to this island and figure out what's going on, um, and get the story on this ship. So the news reporter and the girl both travel to St. Thomas. And they're uh, they go down there and they look, you know, and they're looking for someone to um, to take to take them to this island of Matul, and they meet this couple. I'm guessing they're a man and wife um, who agrees to take them to Matul. And really, the halfway point, um, well, in between, you know, them going on on the ship and going to Matul. There's of course the famous scene with the the shark fighting the zombie, but the uh, halfway point in this movie comes in when they're when they finally decide that they're going to lay anchor, or as as in the movie he says tie her up on the island of Matul. Because really before this there was really in no real danger, at least not a whole bunch, but um, they got the point of no return of uh, they're, they're going to Matul and that's it. So while on the tool, of course they um, they encounter the zombies. You you get the famous you know eye gouging sequence. You know you know several confrontations with the zombies. The um, the woman who's on the on the boat that uh, took the uh, newsman and the woman to the tool, she gets killed, and pretty much that leads up to the climax of the movie. Um, late you know about the hour and fifteen minute mark or so. It's when 
the um, the news reporter, the daughter, and then the guy who took him to the island. Are, they're, they're all three in bad shape. You know, the two men are injured, and she's just exhausted and don't know what to do. And they um, they, they go back. They, they you know, lots of things happen, but they finally make it back to uh, the uh, the doctor on the island. His his house, I guess you could call it, or his headquarters. But they finally make it there, and they're trapped. And they get trapped inside this building with all these zombies approaching on the outside. And that's really all the characters' low points right there, and the big climax of the movie. And basically, um, there's a huge fight with the zombies, and the uh, the trio, the um, the two men and the woman, make it out alive, and they get and they leave. You know, they leave the island. Um, the resolutions for the movie. As you know, she finds out the truth about her dad, you know, what he's involved with on the island, and that he died, and so forth. And the uh, the, the newsman, he gets a story, you know, he, he gets a outrageous story, but he gets a story. And so they, uh, you know, they're on their way to New York. Then the big resolution of the uh, the, the main underbelly of the of the whole plot is um, you. you the very very beginning, you get these zombies, and you know one falls in the water, probably you know bleeds in the water. Who knows? Then the other the uh, the other dead body that's in the morgue of the uh, the policeman who was bit in the beginning. You know you saw his hand twitch in the uh, in the very beginning, but nothing's ever said of it until the very end, when on um, the very last scene in New York has these zombies at the top of the bridge, and. You pretty much know that all these zombies are going to attack New York and you know, go from there. What's really great about this movie, Zombie 2, is, um, of course, all the alternate titles and, you know, you know the, uh, the history of why it's called Zombie 2, even though there's really no Zombie 1, but um, that, that's a whole other story. Um, it's, but basically, Dawn of the Dead was released in Italy. This this is from what I've read. This is my understanding. Dawn of the Dead was released in Italy under the title Zombie. So to ca cash in on that success, Lucio Fulci makes Zombie Two, which would be the sequel, or I take it the prequel to Dawn of the Dead. So Zombie Two is made, which is this, and then when it's released over here in the United States. It's released as zomb just zombie, and then it's also known as zombie flesh eaters. It, it, crazy backstory for this movie. But some of the great things about this movie is, just off the top of my head, the the music in this is really great. I own the soundtrack, and it's really great music. You know, def definitely mem memorable. Um, and all the scenes are memorable. I mean, no one ever forgets the the shark. You know, the shark zombie scene. Or the uh, lady who gets her eye gouged out by the wood splinter, um, you know, and then on top of that, all the little gore scenes, and then the final attack on the the village, and just all the all the gore scenes in this are, are each one is memorable. I mean, it's, it's not like a zombie bites somebody, then a zombie bites somebody else, and a zombie bites somebody else. It's all different and very well done, and the gore for the most part looks very realistic. And then also, the story is not that great, but the story is easy enough to follow, and you know, it's, it's, it's a never boring movie. So I mean, again, that's another plus. And of the seventy-four video nasties, I mean, pretty much that's all the main reasons why this is the best one out of all of them. Um, you know, lots of the video nasties are boring, or may not have enough gore, or something like that. And this pretty much has the entire package. So, um, definitely recommended. I mean, this is uncut version, anamorphic widescreen, two disc. You know, definitely, um, definitely a must have.